Hi everybody, welcome to another installment of Music at Home. So for the last few weeks, we have been learning about sounds that are not music. We went on a listening walk where we listened to the sounds just in the world around us. And then last week I gave you a challenge to listen to some sounds and try to identify what was making those sounds. So I had you think about what is the difference between noise and music? And many of you came up with some really great answers saying that noise was uh, loud or that noise was unpleasant and that music was nice to listen to or music was organized. And that's pretty much what it comes down to. Noises are just random and messy. They just happen kind of any time and there's no plan about them. But music is planned and has an organized shape to it. And it has form and is often pleasant to listen to. Although music can be pretty loud and noisy, it could be really noisy. But as long as it has shape and is, in, is organized and has sort of a plan about it, it's music. But I wonder, can we use something that we associate as just being a noise and make music with it? I have a video I want to share with you and I want you to watch this video and tell me what you think. <laughs> Did you notice while watching that video some of the sounds from our identification activity in there? I noticed three myself. There was the clock, there was a ball. It wasn't a basketball, but it was a bouncing ball. And scissors, I couldn't believe he used scissors to make music with it. It's so cool that we can make music just by organizing these sounds and, and making a rhythm with them. There are three categories of what we call percussion instruments, and those are the kinds of things that people use mostly for found sounds. There are what we call hitters, shakers, and scrapers. So a hitter is anything that you would hit together or hit with your hand. I've got here some rhythm sticks. They're a nice hitter. I also have here in my house, you can kind of see it in the corner, I have this drum set also a hitter. Right, so that's a hitter as well. Now, all those symbols, anything that you find on a drum kit is pretty much a hitter. The next category, shaker. I don't have very many shakers here at home, but I do have this one. And this is a tambourine. Many of you have probably played a tambourine. It makes sound by shaking because when I shake it, these little metal things right here, they sort of bang together and they make a sound when I shake the instrument. Now this tambourine has a bonus, but it has also got a drum head on it. Some tambourines do and some tambourines don't, but this one does, which makes it also a hitter. Right? Shaker, also a hitter. The last type is a scraper. So this is the only scraper, the musical instrument scraper I think I have in my house. This guy is a little Wiro frog and he has these cool ridges right here on his back. And those ridges, when I take my stick and rub against, scraper makes a great sound. And I thought, can I find a hitter, shaker, and scraper in my house? And I did. I went into my kitchen. It's a great place to find sounds. And I found 
plastic bowl. What do you think it's going to be? A hitter, shaker, or scraper? <laughs> James knows. James knows it's a hitter, right? So with my bowl, I like that this bowl makes two different sounds. I don't know if you can notice it very well where you are. I'm hitting it with just a little plastic um, knife that I've had forever. You could use a spoon. You could use uh, a wooden spoon would probably be really great. But I'm going to use this today. Wait, is that hitter? In my kitchen, there are lots of things I can use for a shaker, but this is my favorite. This is just a plastic tub of rice. Of course, I just shake it, just like maraca. Right, so I'm gonna shake her. Now, the most difficult thing to find in your house is probably going to be from the scraper group. And I went into my kitchen and I remembered that underneath a can that you would just find at a grocery store, underneath its label, they have these ridges on them. So I took the label off and I found myself a chopstick. You could use a chopstick um, or you could use even just a pencil, works great. I'll show you both sounds, we'll see which one you like better. And I just scrape against these ridges. And it makes a great sound. Let's hear the pencil. It's a little bit deeper. Right. Scraper. So again, I've got hitter, shaker, scraper. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to, in a moment, pause this video, grab an adult, go somewhere in your house where you think you've got something that makes a really cool sound or a really cool noise and we're going to use that sound that found instrument to make music with okay so i want you to go find something to use as a hitter or a shaker or a scraper then come right back and start the video again okay so hopefully you all found an instrument to use something around your house that makes a great sound or great noise we're going to use these instruments now uh, to go along with a song. We're gonna use the song La Raspa because it is Cinco de Mayo, if you're watching this the day I posted it. So the rhythm I want you to use today is going, there's two actually, there's two different sections of this song. Our A section is gonna be ta, ta, two, ta, ta, two. Can we all with our instruments play ta, ta, two, whack, two, ready, and ta, ta, two, ta, ta, two. So that is our A section. During the B section, we are going to do um, just the the even ta ta tas. If you want to improvise on your own in your own space, that's great. We're just going to stick with the really uh, even one. But if you want to improvise a, a more interesting to you rhythm, that works for us too. All right, are we ready, James? I want you to stay back so that they can see your instrument.
you, everybody. Thank you, Nathan. And thank you, James. Yay. Say hi. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Have a great day.